The name's Flux. I am Flux. I'm a detective. And I'm pretty good at it. I had a new client last night. She wanted me to find out how to make a film. It's not my usual line of work, but needs most when there are bills to pay. I said I'd look into it. My first port of call was to see Bluey the Nose. If there's one guy who knows where to find anything in this town, it's old Bluey. Films is difficult business, Flux. You sure you want to know? Not really, but a job's a job, you know? Gotta pay the bills. I hear ya. Well, you're gonna need a screenplay. All films start with a screenplay. That's like a script, right? It explains where everything's set and what the characters all say. That's right. Get yourself a screenplay and you're part of the way there. Oh, Bluey was helpful, but I needed to know more. He said I'd need a storyboard, but I didn't know what one of those was. He gave me an address and said if I wanted to find out more, I had to talk to the fat man. The fat man and I go way back. I wasn't looking forward to this meeting. Well, 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 if it isn't old Six Shots Flux, what brings you to these parts? I'm looking for some information on storyboards. Bluey the Nose says you might know something. I know all there is to know is the nose will knows. What do you want to know? Was the rhyming necessary? Consider it a freebie. Now, what do you want to know? The fat man told me all about storyboards. Turns out they're like a set of small drawings of frames of a film, with guides to actions and other details about how the film will be filmed. They're like a comic of sorts, but a comic that tells people how the film will be shot. Sounds useful. The fat man said a screenplay and a storyboard weren't enough to make a film. Apparently you need a camera too. I knew just the person to talk to. Bunny the Rabbit Rabbit was someone who could get you anything you needed, no questions asked. Seemed like a good place to start. So what do you need, doll? I thought you were a no questions asked kind of player. Are you being serious right now? I'm a rabbit, not a psychic. Fair enough. I've got a case on right now looking into how to make a film. I'm told you need a camera for that. Thought you might be the kind of person to talk to. Just about any camera will do when you're starting out. But if you're watching some good sound and picture, you'll need more than a camera. That's always the case, isn't it? So what else am I going to have to shell out for in this venture? You'll need a good microphone. Unless you're fine with using one built into your camera. The camera might only pick up sounds close to the lens, though. So if you're doing zoom shots, you're going to have to re-record or get a separate microphone, something like a boom mic? You've got it. Then there's lighting. If you're filming outdoors in the sun, you're probably going to be okay. But for everything else, you'll need good lighting. Can't I just turn on my normal room lights? <laughs> Only if you fitted your house with stadium floodlights. Your usual room lighting is going to cut it, honey. Get some portable, high luminosity lighting. You won't regret it. This case was bigger than I thought. Scripts, storyboards, cameras, microphones and lights. It was all starting to add up. Bluey? I wasn't expecting company. You forgot about the actors. You need actors for a film? You don't get to the cinema match, do you? Of course you need actors. Look, they don't have to be top notch, especially when you're starting out. But if you don't get actors, you don't got a film, you get me? But what if you don't have anyone that wants to be in your film? What if your budget is tiny? Then use whatever you can get your hands on. Cuddly toys, cardboard cutouts, whatever. Hell, you can even use yourself dress differently. If you think you can get away with it, work for Monty Bison, it can work for you. Thanks, Bluey. You've given me a lot to think about here. This case was starting to feel bigger than me, almost too big. I decided I needed to take a walk. Hey, you. You're the one that's asking about film. You're too late, Huggles. I've just about wrapped this one up. Oh, yeah? How are you going to make it all fit together, then? Yeah, I thought so. You don't know the first thing about editing, do you? Editing? Why would I need that? What? You think you can just film every scene one after the other and have it magically just flow together into a film? It don't work like that, sugar. You got to edit. It's always something else, isn't that? That's life, Snookums. Editing is essential. Once you've filmed, you got to edit everything together. Only then will you have a finished film. I had it all now. I understood what was going on. 
A film started with a screenplay, a kind of script with a special name to make it sound more important. Then someone draws up a storyboard based on the screenplay, and actors get hired, or at least something is chosen that's going to take the place of actors. You'll need a camera, some lights, or to film outside during the day, and maybe a microphone or two if you're wanting sound. It all sounds complex to me, but what do I know? I'm a detective, not a filmmaker. Then, when you're done filming, you need to edit the footage together to make it coherent. If you ask me, it all sounds like a lot of work. Just like the detective game, I suppose. This is Aaron Flux. I've got the information you wanted. I love it when a case comes together.